Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor presented by Prophetic Solutions Team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Code Generator Framework Beginner Tutorial and this is our part 18. Inside this video session guys, we are going to discuss about form validation rules. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about Code Generator Framework Tutorial. So if I back to browser, so basically guys this is the form that we have developed so far in our previous video sessions. Inside this form we have made two fields like name and the email. But now inside this form there is no form validations right now implemented. Suppose if we pass some data something this is the data, this is the email address. If I press submit form will be su successfully submitted. But if I go again to this form and let submit without any values then we can see that the form has been submitted without any error. So we are going to implement our form validation rules so that we can restrict this form for submitting. So how can we achieve that? If I back to slides. So basically guys form validation can be implemented in two ways either in the client side or in the server side. In the client side means by using jQuery plugins or the JavaScript code. So we can achieve this client side code also. But now from the server side code igniter provides a library something called form validation. By the help of this form validation we can set our rules and we can restrict our form before submitting without any values. So if I back to editor. So inside this routes.php this is the route that actually we are using called form helper study inside this user controller. Inside this controller this is the method basically loads that form user inside that user folder we have called form.php and this is the file. So now we are going to validate this form before submitting it means that if it does not contains any value for this name field and email field then we need to restrict that. So while submitting this form this form will be submitted by this route so if I copy this route go here search for that and this is the route. So if I copy this method name go to user controller search this method and this method is here. So basically inside this method right now we have not implemented any form validation rules. So now we are going to use that. So to use that form validation in code igniter first of all we need to load that library. So to, in, to load any library or helper we know that there is two ways. Either we can load inside this constructor or by using this autoload.php. So if I open this file, scroll here, as we can see that here is we have libraries keys. Inside this libraries we can provide the form validation library here. So we are not going to load autoload.php, we are going to load inside this controller. So how can we load that? So let's say this, load and this should be library and inside this library method we are going to pass that library and this is something called form validation. After loading this library we can use the, these methods and we can just access form validation methods inside any of the method. So if I copy this form validation back to our form submit method because this is the method where actually we are going to submit our form. So inside this method we are going to set our rules. So let's set this. Form validation. This is the library name. This library has a method something called set underscore rules. This method will take some of the parameters. The first parameter will take if you go to form.php. This is the name attribute of name and correspondingly we have called txt underscore email for this email field. So we are going to validate these two fields. It means that if I copy this txt underscore name, go here, first parameter it should be the name attribute of the element which we want to be validated. In the next parameter we need to pass the error message. It means that if I write it here then it will automatically generate if suppose the name field does not contain any value then it would automatically says name is required. And in the third parameter we need to pass our rules. So we want that this field should be required. Now, if I save this file again if I copy this line pasting it here this was the validation rule for our name field. Now we are going to pass it from 
for the email field. So if I copy this txt underscore email, go to user controller and pass it here. So let's say that email is required. So if I save this file, now after making these two rules, finally we are going to pass here something called if this form validation and form validation also has a method something called run. It will check that if the form is successfully passed these rules or we have some errors. It means that it returns the boolean value means the run method returns the boolean value. So we are going to compare with the false value. It means that we have some errors. So let's say that we have some errors or inside else condition we have successfully submitted our form. So this should be submitted form area. Now if I copy all these contents, go inside else condition and pasting it here. Now inside this form validation method, we are going to redirect the form to the same route or with to the same method. So this is the method of the form. So if I copy and pasting it here, so let's say this and this is the method. So if I go to browser, reload this page. Now if I click on submit button, as we can see that the form is submitted but right now it is on the error messages. It means that we are on the if block. So how can we show the error messages? Right now we are redirecting on this F block. Okay, so how can we achieve the error messages also? So go to form.php. Inside this form.php, let me say that here inside, let's say inside paragraph tag, Code Igniter provides a method to get all the error messages and let's say echo and this should be something called validation, not validator, this should be validation errors. This is the method. So if I pasting it here, what basically we are going to achieve that if we submit this form without any value, it will hit this route. After hitting this route, we have loaded our form validation library where we have provided our rules. After putting these rules, it will check that if the form returns true or false. If it returns false, then it will redirect on the same form what we have inside this form.php. And now inside this form, we have now validation errors. This function will print all the error messages if we have inside this form. So back here, reload this page. So if I go again back, if I reload this page, now I'm going to submit this form without putting any values. Click on submit. As we can see that here, we have message something called the name field is required and the email field is required. These are the validation messages, basically the form validation provides. So as we go in the browser, so as we can see here guys, all the error messages are coming in the bulk. It means that if suppose we want this name field is required right now inside this name attribute, sorry name field, also we want this email validation messages inside this email text field. So how can we achieve that? So if I back to editor, go to form.php, so instead of this for validation errors, just comment that, go here. So we want that error message right here inside this name field. So let's say that we have the method something called echo. Let's say form error. Inside this error, first parameter we have to pass the name attributes. So this is txt name. So if I pass and let's say that name is required or it automatically generates the error messages. So we are going to wrap the error messages inside this div and let's say that div class and something let's say error. And in the third parameter, we are going to close this div. So if I save this file, again inside this input type email field, let's say that php tag echo form error. And inside this error, the parameter we are going to pass something called the name attribute is input type email. So txt underscore email, go here and pasting it here. So if I save this file, this time we are not going to pass all these parameters inside this txt email form error message. So back to browser, 
reload this page now if I inspect this page click on the submit without putting any values so click on submit as we can see here guys the name field is required right inside this input type name and the email validation message right beside this input type email so in, if I inspect this error messages as we can see that the name field is required error messages inside this Steve class error what we have provided as the second and the third parameter inside this form error but inside this txt underscore email so if I inspect this email address now as we can see that by default the code igniter wrap this message inside paragraph tag so if I go again at the name field for this class error if I suppose put something called color equal to red it means that if I copy go here inside this form and let me put some CSS so this should be inside the style tag so let's say style so we have called div and we have the class something called error so we need to provide something called color equal to red so if I back here and also let's say that we are going to pass these two parameters something called our divs inside this input type email error message so save this page go here reload this again now if I press submit button so click on that as we can see that here we have two error messages called the name field is required and the email field is required so if I put some value something called online web tutor and this is the email address if I press submit the form is successfully submitted so successfully guys inside this video we have learned about the form validation library of CodeIgniter in our upcoming videos guys means in our next video we are going to learn some of the extra features about this form validation library means there are multiple rules basically this form validation library provides this is the simplest rule we have discussed about required field and also we have discussed about that how can we format our error messages so inside the next video session guys we are going to learn some of the extra features this form validation library provides so inside this video session guys if you have any query then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day